Sun is coming up. Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got the mummies and the spider webs. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am making a quick crock pot dinner. It's my chicken teriyaki and hey bud. And it's Halloween. So we are going to, do you wanna say hi? Come here. Hey. <laughs> it's Halloween today. And so it's gonna be a busy night. You know, like I want dinner to be already like cooked, ready to go. And so I figured I'd throw this in the crock pot and then we'll get the kids costumes on and do a little trick or treating. Is this gonna be a fun, fun night? Uh -huh. what, what do you say when you knock on the door? Trick or treat. First you say trick or treat, and then they give you the candy, and you uh -huh. say, "Say thank you." <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this recipe really quickly. Um, how I throw it together in the crock pot. It's on my blog as well, so don't forget to check it out at gentellycooks.com. And I would love for you to subscribe and like this video if you like the recipe. Thanks. We're going to start with making the sauce. Take three quarter cup of soy sauce, one and three quarter cups of water, a half a teaspoon of ginger powder, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, six tablespoons of brown sugar. The last ingredient for the sauce is honey and you're going to be using two tablespoons. Next, you're going to mix it up really well. Make sure you have all of the sugar and honey dissolved. You're going to take about three quarters of a cup of that mixture and pour it over your chicken in the crock pot. I'm using chicken tenderloins here, but you can use chicken breasts as well. Cover the crock pot and set it on low for four to six hours. Are you eating some Skittles before Halloween, before we go trick or treating? Mm -hmm. Yeah, preparing Ethan, for the I sugar have, rush. Ethan, can I have the M&Ms? Thanks. Oh, you're nice, buddy. What about you? What are you having, little boy? Let me see. You have a piece of candy too? You just woke up from his nap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is such a beautiful day outside. It's like in the low 60s, sunny, Halloween. So we decided to stop at the park because I don't know how many more nice days we're gonna get before winter comes. <laughs> so we're at the park. We're gonna run around a little bit, get some energy out. Run home, eat dinner, and go trick or treating. Ethan, are you excavator? Mm -hmm. One thing I do like to do is um, start sauteing the vegetables that are gonna take the longest to soften. So I'll usually start with carrots and then broccoli and then mushrooms, peppers, and onions. So that's just kind of helps it soften of long the same time. Oh, and then I wait a while to add the zucchini because zucchini will soften super fast. So I'll cook all of that down till it's pretty much done and then throw the zucchini in because that only takes a few minutes. This recipe is so great because you can use any vegetables that you like. So here I'm gonna cut up some carrots. I'm actually using a lot of carrots in the, this recipe because um, Owen loves carrots and I do too in this recipe. So I usually cut up more than the recipe calls for. So you really can do what works for your family. Add the carrots to a pan with a little bit of oil and close the lid so that they're also softening from the steam. Next, I'm going to chop up some broccoli into small pieces and I will add that to our carrots and stir it around a little bit and close the lid again. Mushrooms, I love to cook with mushrooms, but I'm the only one in my family that eats them, but the more for me. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just quartering these, but you can totally just slice them or buy them pre-sliced, add them to the pan, give it a little stir, and again, cover it up. Next, I am cutting up some red bell pepper, but you can totally use yellow or orange as well. They're all very sweet. I usually don't cook with the green ones just because they're not quite as sweet. Then you're going to add that to the pan, stir it up a little bit, and put the lid back on. 
I'm also going to cut up some onions. So I'm using a sweet Vidalia onion. And so when it cooks, it um, it really sweetens so much. You don't get that sharp bite that like a normal onion would give you. So it's really good in this recipe. I'm going to add that to the pan as well and give it a little stir. But I'm also going to add a little bit of salt at this time. Now remember we are using soy sauce and that is very salty. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of salt to help bring out the flavor as well as soften the vegetables. Once your vegetables are almost done cooking, you're going to add your zucchini because that will only take a couple minutes to soften. While your vegetables are cooking, you're going to take the rest of your teriyaki sauce, add it to a saucepan, and begin heating it over medium-high heat. While it's heating, you can add a quarter cup of water. I'm just adding it to the same bowl and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix that up really well. And once your sauce is um, really warm, you're going to go ahead and add that. Stir it with a whisk and it should come together and thicken really quickly. If it's not war super warm, then it may take a little bit longer as it heats up. And once it's thickened, then go ahead and turn it down to low. So the chicken is done cooking in the crock pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred it up. I just got a couple forks to do that. Also I forgot to mention that you are gonna want to cook some rice with this. So you can either do that on the stove top. I use a rice cooker. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. It is amazing. Like I never thought that using a rice cooker would make a big difference with rice, but it, it does. It's really good. <laughs> All right, so I'll go ahead and finish that up. If you're not gonna serve this right away, you can put it back in the crock pot and let it, um, it'll stay moist in the juices that are in there. Um, but if you're ready to go, usually I'll just take like a ladle of either the crock pot juice or the stuff on the stove. And just add it on top so that it stays nice and moist. As predicted, life got crazy with Halloween, so I didn't get a chance to end this video. And also you may have noticed the last video of me drizzling the sauce over the chicken and vegetables, it actually was not filmed on Halloween. This was filmed previously in our old home. Um, and I had filmed it for a, like a little Pinterest, like story kind of thing. I don't know what it's called, but anyways, um, but I figured I'd just plug that in there because it looked nice and I didn't get a chance to film it because I was just throwing rice and chicken and veggies on the plate. We were gobbling it up and we needed to meet our friends for trick or treating. So it ended up being kind of a crazy night as predicted. I'm glad though that I had everything done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.